friends, and welcome back to the show. And I'm joined today with none other than Kevin Leslie. Kevin, That's lovely it. to have you on the show, Thank brother. You. How you doing? Yeah, good, man. Good. You're doing good. It's great to finally meet you. Yeah, it's great to meet you. We met briefly in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I say, the place was, it was yeah, it was packed out. And uh, a big shout out to all the guys out there, um, Jeremy Reeve and all them team, and, and Phil Hart. Hi guys, how you doing? Tom Begley, big writer. And um, Kevin, you've been involved in this bad boy. I have indeed. Here's Kevin here. It doesn't actually look like you. It's a different look, isn't it? It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit sterner. It's stern, I've got, I've it's got, powerful. I've got friendlier these days. Yeah. So. <laughs> you've got more fun involved. It's warm in here, Kevin, mm. isn't it? You know what's coming, friends? There it goes. There it goes, that's part of the bond of the show, we all chuck our hands Oh I see, off. I'm, you know I'm I mean? leaving my hands. You're leaving yours on, man. You're leaving yours on. Because I've, I've got no... I can't see that. He's actually got no air. I've got yeah. a little bit. But You've got a little bit, yeah. A little bit, but it's well, on its way out. Ah, yeah, like shave it all off. Get rid of it, man. Get rid of it. That's you know, the next step. It is the that's step. the next one. Cheers. And, uh, so, Kevin, mm. you've been involved in the acting now in a number of years. Yeah. <clears throat> you, how did you get into this? this? This is a real strong role to play. Was it a difficult role to play? Yeah, it was. It was. It was very difficult. And um, to answer the two questions, how I got into it was uh, I was very fortunate. I um, uh, I literally was working quite hard for myself. I'm quite savvy, you know. I know I know what I want and I know where I want to go. So a lot of actors and, and good advice to actors is don't sit back and wait for it. Go out and get it. You know, I um, I would have never been seen for this if I'd been submitted via the kind of traditional routes. I just didn't really know much about the project but knew that the production company and the producer um, they were working on something and I, and I emailed a producer a, you know a good friend now a nice guy called Craig Tui who just picked up my email and happened to match a similar look to the guy that they were already looking at who's Simon Cotton who plays Ronnie phenomenal actor um, and so they called me in and it was very last minute it was very uh, you know very strange experience in terms of one day I was in Shropshire, the very next day I was down in London in a big boardroom auditioning alongside Simon. Wow. Um, so, you know, you had 24 hours to kind of read the script, but as soon as I read it, I just knew it was strong. It was a, you know, Ken and Seb have done a phenomenal job on the script. Um, yeah, came down, did a big three hour workshop with Simon, you know, bouncing off, kind of getting this brotherly chemistry. Um, yeah, and then we ended up getting offered the part there and then. Um, which was like a Tuesday evening, and then we started oh. filming Monday morning. So we had six days. Oh, so that was a bit of a whirlwind. That's a quick moment. Yeah, yeah. Life, life that stopped. Was a that quick moment. <laughs> life stopped at that point. The clock stopped there. Yeah, and then. Yeah, yeah, it was like right, got some research to do, uh, and and yeah, the other part, like you said, it was it was a very challenging role for me. You know, I'm not East End born and bred, so that was the kind of accent and the culture and the world was something to get my mindset into. Not only the character but the world you know the the thing I've enjoyed the most actually is the East End is rich full of history and culture and, and I didn't really know much about it uh, and now I feel like a surrogate kind of East End boy because the guys have taken me in and you know Steve Wraith people like that have really you know embraced me with the kind of East End lot and you know they've been very supportive about what we've do, been doing so I, I really enjoyed kind of getting to know the East End, not only through, you know, the characters, but as an actor playing these characters. But yeah, you know, the thing that I found most difficult about Reggie was he's a, he was a very suppressed character, what I found, you know. Ronnie was a bit more out there with yeah. with, with, uh, with everything, with, with who he was and what, what, yeah. he, what he had to do, where Reggie was a bit more withdrawn and a bit more um, kind of, he was slightly laid, more laid back mm. character, but I think he was he was very explosive, as you know, as you know. Yeah, that, that's the way <laughs> I wanted to do. What what I tried to bring to Reggie was to, to show his um, his dominance and and, and um, power as well. You know, a lot of people will watch this movie and you'll see that Ronnie's a scary one, but it's because it's there, it's in your face. Where with Reggie, it was like he was just as fearful as Ronnie. He just you know, held it back more. Yeah, stand um, off. But in the second one, he doesn't. He lets it go a lot more as well. You know, he gets wow. heavy drinking and and he's a bit more explosive. But yeah. And I'm just looking there, right behind me. New World Trust in London, Miami, and Marbella, friends. And it's is uh, the New World Trust is pleased to certify that Kevin Leslie was the winner 
in the best acting category at the 2015 Morbea. Kevin, I have to congratulate Thank you on that. That's a lovely act yeah, 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 to get, yeah. isn't it? It, it was. Uh, I mean, I still don't quite believe it. Um, lovely it part is. of the world too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Spain was, was beautiful, you know, the old town and stuff of Marbella. But, I mean, kind of any part. But, you know, it's not what you do the work for. You do the work for the work, you know. I, I, you don't need stuff like that for me. Just doing the, the having the experience of playing this and, and working with everybody that was involved um, was sensational. You know, I, that that to me is an, an individual. That's to everyone. You know, that's yeah. to the producers, the fellow actors, the art department, everybody that was involved in this beauty that we uh, that we put together. Because everybody worked so hard, and that they, they, you know, their passion, their heart, and they wore their hearts on their sleeves and everybody, you know, blood, sweat and tears went into the project. So it's not individual for me, that's an accolade to the film and everybody involved that... Well, to me, your name's on it, so hey, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah no, come I know, on, accept I mean, it, Kevin, no, accept no, 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 it. Yeah, it is, it is a nice accolade, but I mean, you, you wouldn't get that without... I without live, the whole team. I live, a, I live a motto by a jigsaw, without every piece you don't see the full picture. So... I like it. Yeah. Good so, statement. So, for me you can get that but you wouldn't get that without every piece being in place so it, it is it is it is yeah. got your name on it but it, it is everybody it just shows that people are taking this movie seriously that it's not you know kind of a cheap knockoff or, or whatever people have some have you know described it it is a stands on its own two feet it's the true gritty british version of the Craytons. absolutely and it, i mean it's done very well it's it's 18 years of age you know, so it's, it's after the watershed stuff, friends, you know what I'm saying? And it's Rays of the Craze, so it's Razor for Rays of the Craze. So check that one out. You like that one, Kevin? I like that one. But you look, you look, you wouldn't think that was you now. You know, that, and that's no makeup, it's just hair changed and yeah, yeah, that's just shaved up and stuff. You do, you do look like the Craze, the two of you, don't you? Mm. You really yeah, do. We, we, we worked on, um, I know you say it, but some of the beautiful things we read was, you know, with them. The dominance of the two of them together they said they had this look that felt like it, it, well, they weren't looking at you they were looking through you and that's what we really tried to get with with our persona and our characterization of when we when we entered a building you knew we'd entered a building you know and they had that kind of power they had that aurora around them um and yeah that we really worked on that kind of as i called it the reggie stare the reggie stare i like it a lot and uh, the other thing is kevin style back in the days the guys were very stylish mm. so you weren't tottered off with this one you the past a good clobber there yeah. yeah oh god i mean uh, i said it in a um me and simon said it you know if, if we sh fashion uh, not fashion that's a bit rude to say it's gone but like i i miss that the old school of like suit and booted three piece i would you know i'd yeah, go back tomorrow it just yeah it just it felt to me like now you know it's kind of like you just shove on a t-shirt and jeans and that's it you're ready wear that took time and you you know you, you kind of cared more about your Good presence cloth. you know how you looked and, and the style right. of it and the, you know Ronnie especially had his kind of accessories and you know and I think we we've lost that a little bit so but yeah, yeah definitely so was great what's next on the agenda for Kevin Leslie uh, I mean, it's looking good. We've got a big year coming up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to kicking off. Um, I start filming um, in a week and a half um, with a company called Lost Eye Films um, on a kind of sci-fi project. I can't. I know everyone. You're not allowed. Say, you're not, we're not allowed to tell you, friends. We're, we're, not, we're not allowed to. But as soon as it is released, the title, then I will happily. Will you? Will you let me know? I will. And I will let all our. We will tweet know. it. We will send it. it will we'll pull it out there. We'll pull it out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then um, I'm supposed to be after that doing a horror, a kind of a horror movie, which is a genre I've not really touched before um, with Film Engine. That's called Union in Hell. I can I can talk about the title of that one. Um, there's also uh, we're talking LA at the moment about a feature film out there. Um, we're talking about a war film at the end of the year. Um, and great. in the middle of the year, in the summer, the one I'm really looking forward to. Um, we're talking like I really want to like work on this project with a. A director called Cos, um, just won Best Director actually, uh, the British UK Film um, Awards uh, for his um, Demon Baby, um, Wandering Rose, uh, is better named, is his real name. Uh, yeah, phenomenal guy, phenomenal director, and I hopefully get to work with him next year. Hopefully. So yeah. Hopefully, and all the all the friends here in the band the show wishing you the best. 
Because we've, we've, we've got a great we've got a great team here in the Banter Show, you know, all mm. our supporters, all our people out there. But um, it's really good to have the banter with you, Kevin, because as I say, I met this yeah, man yeah. in January. <laughs> I'm really getting to have the banter now. I know, yeah, because it, it was so crowded. We it was so crowded. Find it. You know, we should have searched by flat caps. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's over the corner <laughs> with a paint as usual, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you never know, we could be in set some of these days too. You never know, we'll keep you in mind. Yeah, and definitely. And definitely. Vice versa, you know. Mm. But us actors have to look out for each other, you know. Indeed, what, indeed, you know so, Kevin, it's been an absolute blast, and it's lovely to have you. An absolute pleasure to have you at the Pleasure Banter Show. Um, will you join me in, give, in doing a razor for me? Two on the right. Two on the right. One on the left. One on the left. I'm just going razor. Razor. Season on to razor friends. From me and Kevin, we're out of here. Yeah.